Hello everybody and welcome to another channel update. I was going to do this at Cold Glen Country Park, but um, the weather's kind of turned on me, so I'm doing it indoors at night on Wednesday the 27th of October. So, let's get on with the update and just go through all the bits and pieces of all the strands and everything as we normally do in these. The last one was in May, and a bit to talk about, really. Um, subscriber numbers. We are currently sitting, at the time of recording, at 292 subscribers, which means another 55 of you have joined since the 1st of January this year as subscribers. Thank you, everybody. Always appreciated. Love to see the growth. We are on target for beating last year's new subscriber total. And definitely on target for 300 subscribers. Hopefully that does pick up. Um, a lot of exciting stuff coming up next week and next month. And I'll go through that later in. Um, but let's go through some of the other strands and just um, have a quick chat about them all. First one I want to broach is the Kid Structors. Now there's not been many reactions, Kid Structors or Quiz Structors, over the past few months. Logistics probably the main reason for it. Content ID is another. Um, Content ID has been a bit more favourable for one of the reactions did with Arthur back in February. Visionaries Kid Structor is now up. It's done pretty strongly so far. It's only half. It's only three days in, but it's done pretty strongly at the time of recording. Um, one of the most popular videos for the past past couple of months, which I'm really happy with. Um, so yeah, there is scope for more reactions. Fraser's interested in doing more. Um, definitely interested in doing more and giving me a few more suggestions off the back of Visionary. So we'll need to see how I'll logistically do it. So I don't really want to do it by Zoom. I want to do it face to face because I feel there's a better reaction and better way of getting uh, people involved doing it that way than having to do it via uh, Zoom. Um, and I think it does work better, the kid structures particularly, when everybody's all together sitting in a room. And I know restrictions and COVID has kind of been a bit of a problem for that more recently. And logistically, an indoor space where I am is more difficult because of logistics. So it's a very difficult logistical nightmare trying to get time off where we're all available. It will happen at some point. When? I don't know. But I do want to do more. I do want to get to 50 kid at the very least by the end of next year. We'll see how that goes. Move on to the stream structures, which are the live streams, of course. Um, again, logistics and people being available at the time for the live streams has become more and more problematic as, as the world opens up again. It has been back to mostly one-man bank um, situations. Um, if you want to know what I mean by one-man bank, I'm not going to really refer to it here. Um, it was... Well, I will write. I'll say. I'll say what it was. Basically, it was a spelling mistake. I said uh, one of the first live streams I've done on my own for a while. I said one man, one man band. I was supposed to say, but I said one man bank. So it's become a slight running joke for me to say it's a one man bank situation. Um, logistics of everybody else and what they're doing and where they where they're going and getting new people on board is always a big challenge. I'd love to have more people interact on live streams, but I'm happy with the format I've got now. Um, there isn't a live stream next month in November because of Who Month, and I'll go into more details about what's happening in Who Month in a moment. Um, so there will be another live stream back in December, uh, which will be the 12th of December, and that's because of situations with my favourite TV series, and I'll get into that in a minute. And it's part of the reason why there isn't a stream to Doctor. As I say, Doctor Who is probably the biggest discussion here on the channel update this, this time round. Um, but I'll get to that um, a little bit later. A couple of other strands, obviously, we've done the vlogs. Um, they've been doing okay. Um, all the stuff that was filmed last year has now gone out. The stuff I filmed in May is more or less complete as well. Uh, one more from the May shoot of May filming I did, uh, which is the uh, trip to St Andrew's Cathedral. You've seen the castle. That was this month, and that's done not too badly, views-wise. Um, the cathedral is in December. And, um, yeah, you may have noticed I've been making a running joke about Historic Scotland having lots of stonework areas. Well, let's just say St Andrew's Cathedral kind of takes the biscuit a little bit, um, but I'll, 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 I'll leave it there for now. But it's an exciting vlog. But I did go and film seven different vlogs in August. And if you include the New Year's Resolution vlog in January, if all seven are uploadable and editable, some of them I have a meh about, one I definitely have particular meh about, but it's always going to be a difficult location for me because the timing and where it is and everything else, and me want to cram everything else in. I really need to concentrate on doing that properly next time round, and I have an opportunity to do that next year reenactment wise so that'll be good. Um, 
but the rest of the locations um yeah if all the locations are registered down and completed um it will be a um vlogs all the way through to august it's probably realistic it'll be june or july with what i've got already um i do want to do a couple more more local ones in the next few months so i could extend that out to september october potentially so there is still vlogging going on i'm trying to get as much as i can banked and ready to go for the vlogs as much as possible i still have a couple that i filmed previously i want to complete bits for um and it castle i want to go back and do some more filming because i didn't think it was quite good enough and the long-standing doton castle still hasn't been filmed yet i really want to do that this year but they haven't been open at times that i could do it so it's been more difficult to do it that's the problem with the covid situation some of the sites i want to go to are kind of limited in who when they can come in and who, how they can come in and i think that's probably why i felt and it was a bit of a problem for me as well because of just the timing and and the booking factor and everything else and th those kind of sites can need a bit extra to them if i'm honest with you um but that's 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 the vlogging situation here the vlogs are doing okay um, I'm happy to continue on. They return back in December. The 5th of December is the next vlog and there's a bit of higgledy piggledy about what I'm doing um, but I'll explain a bit more very very soon. The other thing, the other strand I've been doing is the six facts. Now originally there's supposed to be six. I did eight because I had um, two effectively reduxes. Uh, the decimalization video in February and the ITV franchise auction that came out this month. The ITV franchise auction has done very well in regards to views in its initial first couple of weeks. However, I've made a mistake in the uh, information on on facts two and three. So um, the stream structure will have a reconstructed version of the corrections. Um, whether it's the full thing or whether a full re-edit or whether it's just a correction that's added on there, that will be on the live stream. So I would suggest going to the Streams Doctor if you want to see the corrected version, uh, corrected information, because that will be on the live stream in December. Um, there is a lot of um, stuff coming up for Doctor Who related information. As you know, if you've uh, been in the UK, you will know, and I have mentioned it on the live stream there, although I didn't think it was going to happen, but Doctor Who returns on the 31st of October, um, Sunday nights. Um, that's part of the reason why the Streams Doctor is not going ahead in December, because the last episode of the series, the six-part series that's coming out, finishes on the 5th of December. If the scheduling keeps as it is for the when it comes out, I won't be able to do live streams. So I'm not live streaming the first, if, uh, first one of the month. I'm doing the second one of the month instead. Um, second Sunday of the month, rather. So um, that's why. Um, so, yeah, we have First Impressions coming back every Monday at 8 p.m. GMT. Following the episode from the Sunday broadcast, you'll get my hot take, my first impression of the new episode of Doctor Who, um, as has been tradition for the past couple of the series. In fact, I've been, this is the fourth, fourth, fourth year of fourth series I've done it for. So this is for series 10, 11, 12. This will be 13. So this is another set, really, of stories. Um I think it's going to be more interesting this time because it's only six, plus because it's an overarching plot line as well. Uh, there might be a lot more to talk about, a lot more excitement. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. But it's falls within Who Month. And as has been tradition the past couple of years, I basically do um, Doctor Who related content through the whole of November. You've kind of got a slightly extra element here because the, the reviews have just done 50. I've just done 50 reviews. So next week's video on Sunday at 4 pm GMT will be a premiere video of my five favourite reviews I've done of the first 50. Um, some surprises, some probably you'll expect. It was more difficult than you think. Um, two were easy, but the other three were hard to think of. Um, join me for the premiere at 4pm next week on Sunday. Give me a, uh, have a, You can join in the chat and say hello and, and have conversations there with me. I will be there throughout the whole premiere video so you can chat and discuss with me you have a chance obviously to watch it afterwards as normal and leave comments down below but yeah, it's, it's just an experiment to see how the premiere works on the channel it will be the first time i've done that the doctor who review start with a vengeance the following week on the 14th of november i have five reviews this month coming up i have on the 14th of november 4 p.m gmt we have the reboss operation then on the 17th of november at 6 p.m gmt remember it's a wednesday um it will be the pirate planet then on the 21st November at 4pm GMT will be the Stones of Blood. Then on the 24th of November 
at 6 p.m. GMT again because it's a Wednesday, the Three Doctors. And then on the 28th of November um, at 4 p.m. GMT, a new element to the reviews. I'm going to start reviewing the monthly adventure range of the Big Finish Doctor Who audios. Um, I'm going to start with Sirens of Time. And I have at the point of this recording recorded and edited two of the five reviews that are coming out. Um, I intend to do um, Stones of Blood and Three Doctors the weekend that this video comes out, whether that's the case or not. I've still to decide. I have a bit of time still to do them. I am watching through the episodes at the moment, so I have got the content ready. I just haven't filmed it quite yet. Um, so that will be all there. It will be ready in time and I'll be hopefully preparing in a position but being four weeks ahead again and, and editing ready to go for December stuff by the second week in November. Hopefully that that's the idea. Um, so yes, it's a busy month coming up. A lot coming up into the new year. Uh, the new Doctor Who review schedule will be two reviews every month from January. So um, you will get a, a rotation of the classic series, a big finish and a new series review um, rotated in, in, in a rotation like that. So you'll get two reviews a month. The first one will be the third Sunday of the month at 4 p.m. GMT. And then the following review will be the Wednesday after at 6 p.m. GMT. So you'll get extra content that way. And this is where the six facts have come in this year to give me an idea whether I can logistically do five videos a month. And I found I can manage that, keep the content up, keep the interest going and um, keep the view count up because it is working. It's it's I'm, I'm getting closer and closer to being able to monetize when I get to a thousand subscribers. Although the view the view out the watch hours are still not the watch time hours are still not matching the subscribers, but they 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 are catching up. So it's looking good there. But overall, that is really all for the channel update. Um, one thing I will mention though is that you may have noticed if you have been cho cho um, if you have been and I'll get my words out in a minute. I've been talking for 10 minutes constantly and not realised. Um, <laughs> um, if you um, have been following the social medias, you'll notice that on the Tumblr and the Facebook and the discussion page of the YouTube channel and Patreon, if you're a patron, um, you will see a schedule image, a schedules, an image of the schedule coming up for the month has been dropping around about the last couple of days of the month uh, of the month before. So by the time this comes out, you'll have that schedule there. If you want to know what's coming up for the month coming coming up, your best way is, is to check the um, social medias, uh, Facebook, the Facebook page for Dean Structor, the Tumblr for Dean Structor, uh, the um, oh for goodness sake, the discussion area on the Dean Structor YouTube, and if you're a patron the Patreon page. Um, speaking of Patreon, you can help support the channel by joining for one pound or one dollar a month. Um, the free tiers, different benefits, and um, I'm always looking to review them, and I've had a chance to look at it more recently. But if you want to help out more, you can go to patreon.com forward slash the instructor, and I suggest maybe you have a quick look at that, because um, you never know, you might like what you see. Um, you may have also noticed something else. There's a slight ch there's the changes being warmly warmed up in regards to branding of some of the strands and things like that. The vlogs already has a slightly different title card format and, and, and format with its text and fonts. Um, the stream structure has a new look. Uh, with the background and everything with the backgrounds for the for the live stream images and things like that and the, the coming up and other elements will start to see that next this month the reviews for the Doctor Who reviews have a slightly different outlook when it comes to looking at the review uh, how the review stacks up against the others that's coming up so a lot of changes and developments here and and um, just like the BBC I'm going to be doing a kind of rebrand of the Dean Structor channel but a very a fairly subtle one um, at the beginning of next year. So this is where it's ramping up just so I can build all the elements in. But if you want to keep an eye on that, the best way of doing that is to subscribe. So if you'd like what you see here today, don't forget to like and um, share the video with the hashtag TeamStructor. Also, if you want to hit that subscribe button, that'll be grateful. Um, that means you make sure you get all the videos. I would hit the notifications bell as well, so you know when a new video comes out. General is a new video every Sunday at 4 p.m. GMT. Stream Stockers tend to be a little bit later on the Sundays they fall on, um, so it'll be 6 p.m. GMT usually uh, for the next few months because it's um, winter time again in the UK. So. Um, it's 6 p.m. in the UK as well as 6 p.m. GMT anywhere else. And um, other videos tend to fall at either 4 p.m. GMT on a Sunday, 
which is the normal normal release. If it's a Wednesday release, it'll be 6 p.m. GMT, and the first impressions are 8 p.m. GMT, and that gives me a little bit more time to make sure that video is right before I put it up, um, especially under the circumstances. Excuse the squeaky chair, I need the WD-40 on it again. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed this, and um, thanks very much, guys, for watching, as always. Um, until next time, I'll see you next week with my five favourite Doctor Who reviews I've done so far. But until then, I'll see you later.